Hey guys, welcome to the ITS Nut of the Week. Today we're gonna to be tying the climber's coil out of 150 feet of blue water climbing rope. So this is a way to coil up a rope, wear it like a backpack, and be able to climb with it up a mountain. All right, so the first step in tying a climber's coil is to find the working ends of the rope. And what you're going to do, and the premise of this is that you'll be able to tie this in a very small workspace. So uh, as you'll see, the motions that I make when I'm actually tying this or gathering the rope uh, can all be done in a very confined space. So if you're on a ledge on a, on a mountain when you're climbing, you'll be able to coil up a rope and actually keep climbing with it. So again, working ends, what you're going to do is you're actually going to keep pulling this all the way through. And you want to try to keep that straight because it's going to keep your working ends straight as well. And again, this is 150 feet. And I'm a little loose with the, the coil as I'm coiling it here. But again, I could put this right at my feet too. I don't necessarily have to have this wide of a berth with the rope. This could all be done very confined. So once you get to the midpoint, you create the bite in the rope. So again, that's your midpoint in the rope. And you're just going to loop that around your thumb and come all the way over and down like this. So what you're gonna do by hooking your thumb on this side and keeping your thumb hooked on this side, you're actually just going to alternate back and forth like this. So you can see that all I'm doing is pulling the rope around. It's very little motion on my part to actually coil this. And just as I'm coiling, I'm just gonna keep adjusting here. And I'm just keeping this hooked around my thumb as I'm pulling through. So when the rope becomes too long, if, the, if your thumb doesn't wrap all the way around the rope, you can start to use your, your fingers like this too. All right, so what I want when I end up with this is roughly about that much slack. We'll kind of see at the end here how that's working out. But what you're going to do now is take this off your neck, just like so. And you're going to take those working ends right here, and you're going to gather those around the rope like so. So you're just wrapping around. And I'm going to do one more pass. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through the spot that I'm holding with my hand. So I'm actually going to grab that and pull through so it creates a bite, just like so. Now I'm gonna take the loose ends here, the working ends, and I'm gonna grab that and reach through, just creating kind of a girth hitch like this. So now at this point, you can now put this around your back, and you take your working ends, and I'm gonna tie around the back, just like so, and back to the front and just tie a square knot. So if you still have loose ends over like I do, you can put them in your pocket, you can do something like that just to get them out of the way while you're climbing. So now this is a hands-free way of carrying the rope. As you can see, I'm completely independent of the rope. It's tied around my waist, and now I'm free to climb whatever I want to. So the other benefit of this climber's coil is once you're ready to deploy the rope, you just come back to that around your arm like this. Pull this through. You want to grab your working ends again. Make sure those are loose. Untwist like this. Come back to your working end. Now what you're going to do, simply hold the working end in one hand and the remainder of the coil in the other. I'm just going to twist it around like this. And I'm just going to make sure that that working end is completely free from tangles. And what you've got is a not free way to throw a line. So that is a climber's coil.
For more information on the knot you just saw tied, check the description for a link to the full article on ITS. Remember, if you're enjoying the Knot of the Week series, please consider joining our Crew Leader membership and allow us to give you back something in return for supporting. Check back every Tuesday for a new Knot of the Week, and thanks for watching.